Okay, so uh, this is Cameron McGee. Just really quickly going to try to do a little explanation of MPEG Stream Clip and uh, how you're going to want to convert things if you have like an MOV to a Windows Media Video format, um, which seems to be kind of uh, popular. So let's look at doing just that. What I'm going to do on my computer, I'm going to launch MPEG Stream Clip. Um, if you're on a Mac, it would probably be if you go to Finder and Applications. If you're on a PC, I have no idea where it would be. I'm sorry, but this is this is where it would be on your Mac. So um, here we go. So inside this, um, it's kind of scary looking, but the best thing you can do is go to List Batch List. Um, this is going to open up this window that allows you to dump uh, any number of videos into this, and then it kind of does the whole batch at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to add files and go get it. And I'll just pull up. I'll just try to find a random video here. Um, let's do this one. This is a, a four-minute video. It's 3:56, so this would be about four minutes. We'll send two batch. And what we're going to want to do? Um, there's this huge, ridiculous, uh, intimidating list here. Uh, don't worry about checking any of this. But right here, instead of export to QuickTime, we're going to want to do export to other formats because the format we're looking for is Windows Media or WMV for Windows Media Video, and that is not listed. So we're going to check export to other video formats. Once we do that and hit OK, it's going to launch this. It's going to say, hey, where do you want to save this to? I'm just going to dump it to my desktop just so we can keep an eye on it. So I'll hit that and move forward. And then we get this screen, which is even a little more intimidating, but this will be probably the last one we have to deal with. So pay attention here. This is where the action is. Uh, in this drop-down menu right here at the very top, this is where we find Windows Media. Um, it was a little buried from the other list, but it is right here. So you select Windows Media, and then this is where you can kind of play with stuff. Over here, the frame size, you're definitely going to want to leave it unscaled, um, at least at first. All, all this program is doing is compressing and or, you know, however you want to think about it, I, sometimes I describe it to people as shrinking or squeezing the video down. So um, that's all we're doing. We're saying, hey, you know, right now the video is, let me just pull it up real quick and we'll see how big it is. Um, right now the video is 1.34 gigabytes. We're looking for something a little smaller than that. So what can we do to shrink that video down? Sometimes that is in scaling, whereas right now these are the dimensions of the video. You know, it's, uh, just imagine that like a picture frame, like a seven by a 5 by 7 or however you want to think about that. And you can shrink it down to any, you can type in anything you want. Um, like instead of 720, we could do 480. That would squeeze it down a little bit. But usually I like to leave that unscaled. And what I would rather do is limit the data rate and a number I like to start with is about 1,500. Um, if we do 1,500, that's going to be a pretty good starting point. And we have to run it and just let it run to know how well it actually worked and how much it shrank it down. But MPEG Stream Click does its best to give us an estimate. It says it's going to be about 42 megabytes, which is a dramatic shrink from 1.34 gigabytes down to 42 megabytes, which is the equivalent of, you know, a gigabyte would be 1,000 of these. So instead of 1,340 it's megabytes, it's 42 megabytes. So that, that almost scares me that it's shrinking it that much, um, but let's just start with that. And if it if that is too low quality, we could up this to 3,000, you know, and then there's that number, okay? But let's just start with 1,500 and see if we can get away with shrinking it that much. The smaller you can get it, the faster it's going to upload to wherever you're sending it. So let's try this, and then we'll just say two batch, and it's sitting here ready to go and it's asking if you want you know it's saying now you can add any more files because normally uh, you know you're really nerding it up and you're gonna throw 15 videos in here but we're just doing one so we'll hit go once we do go it's gonna prepare and gives us this little window to tell us the status yours may pop up with another window over here that gives you like a preview like a play-by-play -play of the video actually being compressed if it does that you're gonna want to just close that out because all that's gonna do is slow down the process as you can already see, it's plenty slow as is, and my computer is relatively uh, fast, so um, it's going to be kind of slow. But anyway, if you just let that go, that video is going to pop out on our desktop, which is where we said to do it, and we'll take a look at it and see if it's about 40 meg, like it said, and that is pretty much the job. But you know, Windows Media, we did 1500 over here. Um, try upping it to 3000 if you can get away with it. It'll be a little higher quality. We'll see how this turns out. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to email me with any questions, and I appreciate you very much. Have a great night.